Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, I am going to demonstrate how to create a project in Jenkins server. So let's get started. So far we have seen how to configure Git and Maven configurations. So if you are new to this session, do watch the sessions. Uh, let's get started. Let me open Jenkins var file location. So it's in my one of the desktop folder. So this is a Jenkins var file. So how we start this Jenkins. So let me open a command prompt from here. And if you are in a, a Mac or Linux, you open the terminal. And wherever your Jenkins var file is there, you can uh, redirect to that var file location and type this command java hyphen jar Jenkins. So as we are not using Java 8 version, so we have to use some extra options while running this Jenkins var file. Enable future Java. Right. So all logs are up and running now. Let's wait for this local server to be up and running. So it started initializing and loading all plugins. So now Jenkins is fully up and running. So go to any browser. So in my case, I'm going to the Chrome and open a new tab and try for localhost 8080. So you know, we need to log in. So as I have a login credentials, I will log in. So now I am into the Jenkins dashboard page. So I already have one project here, but for now we are creating a new item. So go to this new item in the desktop or in the dashboard, you will see new item people's build history and all these details. So there you can find the new item. Once you click on the new item here, you can see enter an item name. So that is representing what kind of project or what kind of job that we are going to create. So I'm, uh, I will give the name as uh, simple Java project, right? I will select the freestyle project. Let me click on OK. So you will find more uh, styles here. And if you have existing, you can copy that from uh, autocomplete. So it is taking a while. Right. So now we are into the actual project creation section. So you can find this options here. General source code management, build triggers, build environments, build and post build actions. So all this we will discuss in detail in upcoming sessions. So for now we will discuss quickly on how to create a new job and run the job. So now here I am naming this job as uh, demo one, two, three and here you can see there are some options here so we are not selecting these options so i'm gonna use the source code management as git repository so we need to provide the git repository url so i already opened the git here so i will go to one of my project which i created jenkins123 so what does it has is actually uh, let me go back to the desktop and uh, let me open a new file here which is a test here right so this is a demo file that I have created, right? Let me open this demo file. So under this, I have a normal Java code and which is a hello world. So what I'm going to do is uh, how I am uh, going to demonstrate using a CMD here is, so I'm going to compile this Java file. So I'm going to compile this and after the compiling, I will execute that Java file. So this will print my hello world. So same thing I'm wanted to do using a Jenkins server. So the same project is being uh, sh shifted to the GitHub space. So here I have a Java file and a class file. So I'm going to use the same thing here. Let me go back to this uh, project and go to the code and I'm using a HTTPS. So copy this and come back to this Jenkins and here in this repository URL, paste this URL. And then you need to uh, place your grid credentials. 
so i will uh, tell you how to create the grid credentials uh, in upcoming session so i already created so for the quick session i have uh, created that credentials so if you wanted to add you can choose this option to add a credentials then you have a branch to build so i'm going to build the master branch so in case if you are using on different branches here you can see i am into the master branch so i'm using the same master branch here right then we have a build triggers so these are the build triggers option so how we gonna trigger our build so this each and every option has a different unique uh, uh, feature so we'll be discussing that in upcoming sessions then you have a build environment so what does uh, after executing your job so delete the workspace before build starts so use the secret test files so all this we can provide and then you have a build options here so I am going to run this job with a command prompt. So for that I will select execute windows batch command. So what I am going to do is this project file is test java. So I am going to use the same here java c test t capital dot java. And in the next line what I, after compiling this test file it is going to generate test dot class. So for that I am going to use this java i have a space test so these are two commands that i will need to enter in the command prompt then i am going to save this so there is some problem here uh, let me go back to dashboard again so our project is created somehow so let me go back to my project again the simple java project that we have created just now and uh, how to edit the project if you already have created so go back to that project and click that and go to the configure. So in the configure you will see all the details already entered here. So if everything is correct then no need to worry and if something goes wrong then uh, we have to debug this. So let me know if you face any issue in this particular area after creating a job are you able to save or apply. So I will tell you the simple trick how to manage that if you got any error. So now I'm going to do what is uh, let me build this project so I can build from here within the project details or you can build from the dashboard also. So you, in the dashboard you once you go to this name section you will see this arrow down so here you will see build and all these details and you can see here last success last failure last duration and you can see this uh, small status and this is the, the weather report status. So now what I am do, uh, going to do is build now. So after building a job you can see here in the left down section you will see a job is running here. So simple Java project is running. Let me click on that and once you again uh, click on that you will go to details. Again click on that project you will go to the actual details of the build. So it gives the build hash 1 June 6 uh, 2020 the current timestamp and then you will see uh, started by so who has started this so the revision and the idea of that repository all these details will be referred here and you can uh, see the console outputs so once you go to the console output you can see console output it is ticked as right tick that means it is success then you can see started by the user then you can see running then it is fetched from where it is fetched uh, this git uh, location so the git location is pointed here and then you can see at the bottom you can see the first time build skipping uh, change logs and all these details. So here you can see simple java project. So I use the windows batch command right. So it is pointing to the windows batch again and then you can see we have entered java c right java compiled test file. Then after we did java executed java class file then it printed hello world uh, welcome world then you can see uh, finished with success so this is how we generate our logs out of our build and you can go and edit the basic information again so you can go and uh, edit this you can delete the build which is run just now and you can go to the git build data so all these details you can go and you can see the status and then you have edit description here option so you can also find the how much time that this build taken to build so you can find all these details here so this is how we run our initial uh, simple java project you can see 
the details is uh, updated here so last success is 2 minutes uh, 0 seconds and the last duration was 9.5 uh, 9 seconds so if you wish to see uh, directly uh, running from here just right click and keep, click on this build now and wait for a time until this uh, page is getting updated you can see here this uh, file is running here so once that file is completed then we can just refresh this page again now you can see it has run for second time so 14 seconds so last duration was 6.6 .6 seconds so all these details we can see and you can click this arrow button and go to this in uh, details of everything and you can see the status which is getting marked as tick mark and you can uh, filter with this option so you here you can see all options you you, you can uh, filter with uh, uh, respective status also So this is all planned for this session. I hope this session is helpful for you. In case if you are new to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. If the session is helpful for you, do post a like and share with a colleague. And do post your questions, queries, errors in my comment section. I will help you out. Thank you.